What is going on, y'all? Welcome back. If this is your first time to the channel. Welcome, welcome. Prestige 6, level 35. Let's do this. Welcome to our first zombies video for 2019. These are some of the challenges I'm still working on, level 3. But uh, that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about perk builds. Because your boy Werewolf has got something new. Because, well, over here at Hair of the Werewolf, we're, um, well, zombie experts, you know. But... <laughs> I can't believe they put that in there. Anyway, let's get to the build, shall we? So, what we're working on here is our sprinter or runner or trainer build. Starting off with the elixirs, we're going with head scan. Headshots have a chance to insta-kill. I cannot tell you how useful that is when you're using the Essex. Second up, anti-entrapment. Immune to player-initiated trap damage. This is going to come in handy running back and forth on those on bridges. And uh, just putting your back to a trap, allowing you to handle one side at a time, comes really in handy. Pop Shocks is going to be our third elixir. Super handy for coming around corners, since Treyarch just thinks it's nice to have zombies spawn in in front of you now. And that's going to work in conjunction with uh, one of our perks, Death Perception, as well. But lastly, underrated elixir, always done swiftly. Walk faster while aiming, raise and lower your weapon to aim more quickly. This is super handy with a running training build. You need to be able to turn around and shoot zombies very quickly. And this will also work with our first perk, Deadshot. ADSing very quickly and getting those headshots is really going to come in handy at high rounds. So is Death Perception. Being able to see through walls was something I think they built into this game on purpose just because they wanted zombies to spawn in front of you. It just adds an extra element of gameplay, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, comes in handy when you're coming around corners. Quick revive gotta have this especially like i just said when you're coming around corners and you get smacked once or twice and you need to be able to sprint ahead of zombies and do what you're gonna do you know but uh quick revive classic perk always need it last but not least is stamina up another underrated classic perk but the modifier for this is what's important unlimited full sprint player can fire weapons while sprinting that's not so much a big deal but that increased movement speed and sprint is just going to be able to get you in and out of those pockets really quickly and be able to get ahead of zombies and shoot them. Now on to the special weapon, the Viper and Dragon. This is perfect for this build. You come around a corner and you get trapped, or if you just like need to get through an area, pop your special and just swipe through all these zombies, blast through them, whatever you'd like. That's the nice thing. It's got range and close. Next up is our equipment, Wraith Fire. This is by far the best piece of equipment in the game. It is OP, but throwing that through a doorway and letting zombies run through, super handy. Essex. This is going to be your starting weapon. I don't really care if you don't like it. This is the perfect long line of zombies poking through them with a single shot weapon that's not a sniper rifle. It's a tactical rifle and it'll get the job done compared to some of these other weapons with uh, larger magazines and or like more close quarters range with a shotgun. But that's going to be our build, guys. Let's hop into a game and see what we can do. Alrighty. And we're just starting at round 10 here because I think that's a nice round number to start at. But wait. What the hell? You just... The crowd is throwing things at me now, like right at my face. <laughs> I know you don't like my weapon, but damn. You see what I mean? Popping those headshots really quickly and just ADSing, getting those headshots out of the way. Not to mention snapping to headshots with head scan. Wow. Insta killing with a unupgraded Essex. Can't tell you how how uh, clutch this can be sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time. Obviously there's better weapons. But for starting weapon, not bad, not bad. Oh, did I mention I hate tigers? I fucking hate tigers. There you go, buddy. Some for you, and y'all are all boosted health because the stupid ice blue guys, the water guys, are they ice? Are they water? Uh, I don't like the elemental zombies. I'm not a huge fan of them, but just adds another, you know, I guess a dynamic of element to this. Black Ops 4 is an interesting game. It really is. This is different from all the other Treyarch zombies, even if just a little bit. It's different enough that it got people talking. Wait, wrong weapon. <laughs> The nice thing about the Essex 2 is you can always just reload it right here in the center. Take that. Some of these. Alright, jumping ahead to 13 here. Whoop. 
I'm gonna show you the strategy for anti-entrapment. So pop the strap. We're gonna be running back and forth. You can run back and forth and pop some zombies on each side, kill some over here, run over here. And it's nice because zombies, they jump up onto the bridge, which makes no sense at all. But they'll also get caught in that trap when you need them to. Not the greatest elixir, but certainly good for this build. Not to mention the nice thing for this build is all classic elixirs. You don't need any consumable elixirs. Other builds we'll be doing in the future will have consumable elixirs on them. But this is the most basic and the... Hello, level 33. This is the most basic and the easiest to just kind of get going if you're new to Black Ops 4 and or just need a new strategy. Alrighty, we're going to jump ahead to round 15. Swing. Oh, I hear something. I hear that. Alright, let's knock this guy out real quick. Look at this. Pack a punched more than twice. Does nothing. <laughs> the KN's going to do more damage. There we go. See, I'm going to cut off that area to keep more zombies from spawning in where he's coming from while I take out the ones in here. Stop giving me fire sails. There's nothing wrong with my weapons. Rude. Ah, you missed. You missed, licky lick boy. And people say that juking is dead in this game. Juking is not dead. You just gotta know how to do it. Yeah, get off me. Anytime he reels you in with his tongue, just pop your special. And it'll let you go. Just die. Ha! <laughs> we missed with the tongue again. Now, this is where we're actually going to take our first down. And I'll show you where I make my mistake. Let's go. Alright, what's going to be... Stop! No more fire sales. No more. I don't want them. Alright, now we're going to start running the train. This is about that time we want to start doing that, is around 18 to 20. White Fathers just make the center impossible to run around in. Pull this out. Takes out some of these guys. I'll show you where I make my mistake coming up here. Rotation is key. Rotation is very key in these upper areas. If you rotate the wrong way, you will go down. I'm going to cut off that area for zombies, but zombies are still coming in this window behind me. And down number one. <laughs> That's demoralizing. It's important to pop at least a couple of these guys on the ground because you get about two seconds before you come back in and... Oh boy. Let's go. Woo! All right. No. No touch me. No touch me, tiger. I do love the sound the ice ones make when they explode. It's a really unsettling sound. All right, we're just going to pop this guy and get our perks back. It's always important to get your perks back as soon as you can. Want to be at max power for this to just to perform well. You want to you want to be at full powered. It's regardless of how many points you have, just get your guns pack punched, get your perks, get running. Always make sure that these are cleared so you can buy more ammo. Stop! Goddamn tigers! Die. Die. Just die. Die. Oh, okay. Goodbye. 
Oh my god, no, I refuse. Whatever. Whatever. Alrighty. Now here's where Pop Shock starts. This is also the calm before the storm. Once you get to these higher rounds, and then there's like that solid five seconds before just mass amounts of zombies. Alrighty. Let's start training them up here. Get them all in a nice line. We're not even going to bother with that guy. There we go. And you just want to get a, at least like six or seven of them together. If you can. Just pop the front. Pop the one in the front. Ooh. No, no, tiger. The only thing is, I usually end up going through my pop shocks all at once just because you only get five, and I don't usually have five situations that I, I just get trapped that I need to knife a zombie real quick and kill everyone. And we're just going to start running the train through here when the fire's on, unless you do the easter egg that makes it so you're invulnerable to the fire. It's not really worth running around in the center when there's fire. It's not worth the jeopardizing your health. Yep, that's the way to do it. We're just going to walk backwards through these areas. You want to stand at corners, because that's going to be the choke point. We're going to throw that. You get the hit markers. Then they have to run through that area if they're going to spawn on that side. And then you can just run ahead. Hey, no fire sale this time. Now we're going to show you a different strategy for running out in the middle when there's no fire. So we're going to throw these down. And you can just run through them if you're overwhelmed. And let those take the brunt of the hit. It's not as many points, but it'll certainly clear up the field for you if you are seriously overwhelmed, which can happen so quick. Hey, our buddy's back. Well... Now you're about to see the jukes. Let's see some jukes. Okay, knock all these guys out in the line. It's important not to get in a straight line in front of this guy. No, leave my guns alone, dick. Shit. Yeah, see, when you get trapped like that, you gotta be able to pop your special quick, quick, quick. It's quick thinking. I, I've gone down plenty of times just not popping it a split second too late. And this, this strategy will easily get you to round 30, guys. Easily. If you're a halfway decent player like I am, I'm, I'm, I'm halfway decent. I'm not much into Easter eggs or any of that stuff. I'm more of a high round player. High round 60 on classified, high round 100 on Blood of the Dead. Hey, take that. Just a couple left here. I do like to leave the... What? Get off of me. How dare you. How dare you touch me? I do like to leave these heavy guys for last. Because they'll just walk around in the middle while I'm killing all the little ones. And then at the end, you can just come through and pick them off one at a time. Especially these guys. These guys are so slow, despite how heavy they're, they're armored. Thank you. And ammo is important. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. No touch. Okay. Round 26. We're doing good. Downs can pile up on you really quick, though. Once you start getting into high rounds, you can you can get down, get right back up, and then get down in the next five seconds if you're not careful. Ooh, them jukes. See, you just gotta know what you're doing. The zombies track now, they don't follow. They track to where you're going to be, not where you are. Hey, how about that? We're gonna clear out this area, run forward with our special. I don't normally recommend running back through a horde like that, but if you have your special popped and you can just blast right through them all, feel free! Get off my D! Oh, damn fire. I still think the fire should set the zombies on fire, and uh, that's our second down, because I made a foolish decision. <laughs> See, all the all the things that you're seeing right here as far as downs go, they're not related to the build not working. They're related to me just making silly, silly mistakes, and that's what most people do. It's just silly mistakes, making the wrong turn, or 
running back through an area with a bunch of zombies, or in this game, if you're Treyarch and you think it's fun to troll people by spawning in zombies in two rooms ahead of you, then, yeah, I mean, whatever, but... <laughs> Alrighty, we're going to jump ahead again, round 27. This is where the magic's at. This is where the magic's at. Round 27, round 30. More Pop Shocks, just in case. As soon as it comes back, I just like to use it. Just because, I mean, you get points towards your Bowie Knife camo. You get extra melee kill points. Actually, no, you don't. Never mind. My bad. One for you. Oh, I hear all the love. Even those little off-screen indicators from Death Perception make a huge difference in, in the span of the moment. We need to turn around real quick. I have my sensitivity turned up to about 8. And that is also the sensitivity I recommend for this build. Set your ADS and your just regular looking sensitivity to about 8. Cha-ching, says Scarlet. I don't like Scarlet. <laughs> See, we get them all in a nice train. And... I want to actually... You want to get them around a corner so that they all come in a very straight line around a single corner. Easiest way to get headshots. To farm headshots anyway, without just straight camping or... Using the deadshot modifier in the in the perk slot. Yeah, some double points or extra points. Stop touching me! I don't like the the outside blood on the edge of the screen too. It makes me think that I have less health than I do. There we go. See, that was a nice moment where pop shocks would have came in handy almost. I mean, I did use it anyway, but and we're just running that train. Quick pops, quick pops. Yeah, level 7, let's go. Level 28. No, God, stupid fire sale. Okay, let's have some fun. Always done swiftly. Now, let me show you how this works at higher rounds. Get them all grouped up first. Ooh, the jukes are real, the jukes are real. Woo! Let's go. Now we got them all on the line. Wait for all the rest of them to spawn in. Some of the big ones just kind of wander around. <laughs> Gotta run through the fire sometimes, it's okay. As long as you're not running like repeatedly through it. Ow! That's why I don't like zombie tigers. But I mean, hey, we're doing alright. That's our last down, round 28. That's where it gets tricky, because you got to get right back into the action when you get up, because they don't stop. They just keep coming. They just keep coming. And special. For you, sir. Good sir. Eat the gunpowder. I would love the blunderbuss to like just to be a regular wonder weapon. I can't believe that the blunderbuss wasn't more of a weapon like than the Kraken. I'm not a huge fan of the Kraken on Voyage. And this perk build does work okay on Voyage as well. It's not as great, but um, it still works. It works on Classified too, but not nearly as great. Uh, Nine truly is the best arcade map in this in this game. Like they really designed Nine with arcade high round players in mind. Just keep on coming. Hey, hey, whoa. Back up. And out we go. Hello, good sir. See, they, they'll they do that too in higher rounds. When you go around, the slow zombies will walk over to the other side and try and trap you in. So there's, there's that you have to contend with as well. It's a lot of different variables that come into play at high rounds. Man, remember when zombies was easy. Oh, shoot. Ah! <laughs> you, got, you got too busy talking. Not enough killing. Come on. Hey, hey! There we go. And this is where level 3 comes in handy as well. There we go. And we 
we can just shoot this ahead of us. And zombies just, it just completely stops them in place. So you can run through them, you can run by them, you can run around them, you can run away from them. It's just a great distraction. Wraith fires. There, there's, there's nothing that's not positive. There's no downsides to this build. It's just run and gun, run and gun, run and gun. And I know that's the classic way that a lot of us started playing. So I think this was a, a right first build to do for this game. See, let's let them all pile up. Come on. Let's get going. Hey, back up. Hey, whoa. Hey. Well, like I said, it'll get you to easily around 30. <laughs> well, I guess that's going to be our game for the day. New perk builds coming out every week. Next week we'll have a new perk build, so stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. More Black Ops content coming up.